Alright, so Claudia's banner came out a few days ago and I saved 16k crystals beforehand to poo for her because, you know, her military themed outfit with that officer's cap and that hexagonal skirt and not to mention those ties. Mmm. This looking still accentuates all that muscle mass she's got from running around executing stuff for hikros. With a little overflow too if you pay close attention, I find that incredibly attractive. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, anyway, somehow that C1 Claudia turned into a C6. Claudia courtesy of my loving crewmates in Moonlight Kohi, where the helpless GM myself got um convinced to bring Claudia home. Look, he got mm. 27 right and he's 30 more to 50. Might as well make nah, it nah, 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 And why you see two make it see three man? That C3 outfit sure accentuates her lovely ties even more. Uh, although if you ask me, I think C3 Claudia should have sticked with the military inspiration and just gave her a an even more elaborate and decorated uniform instead. Anyhow, if you want to know exactly what went down for me to fall into that C6 pits, then be sure to watch this video on the upper right. It will tell you exactly what you need to know uh, and more. <laughs> anyway, onto the proper fluff though, you will notice that Claudia is not really doing a whole lot at C0 save for that physical resonance of 15% attack and 25% resistance. And at C1, that's kind of where she really shines in my opinion. She gains an 8% damage buff per 1 skill, so long as you hit an enemy once, no matter how many enemies you hit, and that lasts for 25 seconds. Essentially, with her 1 skill roam having a short cooldown of 15 seconds, you could keep that stack up onto the maximum 3 seconds giving you a 24% global damage buff regardless of the element. And this is only at C1, mind you, in comparison to Tsubasa, who can do the same, like 25%, albeit at C6. Anyhow, C2 gains more damage, and at C3, you gain 10% more damage and shatter whenever you hit somebody with a skill or a discharge, but only for physical weapons. At the moment, that is only Shiro, so it's kinda iffy if you don't have her as Mark. Lyra and Lin or unavailable at this moment. I mean, Grimblade does do a fair bit of shatter, but ideally she should not be your go-to shatter. It will work, uh, just not that great. The buff lasts for 15 seconds and you could keep this up basically infinitely. C4 then grants more HP, while C5 is the same as C3 basically, with the difference being a 20% damage buff for all weapon skills regardless of the element, lasting for 25 seconds. It's kinda alright, but still not exactly too awe-inspiring, especially since it's a skill buff only, and depending on who you have on your team, you may only be able to use them skills once during the buff. But then again, your one skill is only 15 seconds long, so basically you can keep this up for ever. And lastly, C6 is essentially grants you two stacks of what C3 does, aka the War Wounds, and at the same time allows your one skill to forgo its original reduced damage upon hitting the same target. Pretty good for herself and excellent for physical team comms, especially our dear nun priestess Lyra who should be coming soon. So now that we know all that, how does she play like? Well, the short answer is, at, at least from what I've experienced so far, she is pretty good damage-wise. Well, I mean, she is C6, so she better be good. But keep in mind that I do not have Shiro at this moment, so all numbers you see are 15% less. And even with that, I am already dealing a lot of damage at this current point in the game, you know, where level 65 is the current cap at the time of filming. Her C1 trait gives everybody on the team a nice damage buff, and her 1 skill teleports and hits multiple targets at once. If anything, it's her discharge that feels rather underwhelming. Um, the AoE is small, the damage is somewhat low, and she has a high chance to dash to Narnia due to how terrible the targeting system currently is and waste a discharge altogether. I tried fiddling around with the camera options and uh, targeting still remained lackluster no matter what I did. Uh, granted, timeline wise, she was indeed the first limited banner uh, the game has ever got, so her attack animations and moveset are quite outdated. Hota basically just plays pretty orange yellowy chocolate bars all over the basic katana and odachi movesets and 
and called it a day. As you can see here in this simple comparison, not quite what you want when she's a limited banner character, am I right mate? Whatever the case, she is definitely strong. And if you are using her, I suggest using her aerial moveset more since she gains charge quite quickly and also has the chance to dodge some attacks. Her one skills short cooldown is satisfying and synergizes well with other animation cancels aka frigs and her affordable C1 trait is probably the best bang for the buck. As of right now, she works really well with Shiro as everyone probably knows at this point but she does also quite okay as a DPS buffer as you can see here. I'm running a balance comp and my damage isn't that far off from the main DPS. Obviously a Shiro DPS resonance would have been much better but uh, it's not too bad nonetheless. Essentially if you are a low spender or a free to play I think C1 is about as high as I would recommend you to go. If you are using physical though then I think maybe C3 and beyond depending on how much you are willing to go. But as always don't treat what I'm saying as the gospel. If you like her art style and you like her um thighs wink wink then by all means go for her. Just uh, don't get conned into making her C6 right away as by the time Ling and Lyra comes out she will most likely already be in the standard banner by then so yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's it from me. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like or a sub. And with that, take care and goodbye.